Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a bad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Ayy, ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, doggy bone, man? Hey, look, I got another story time for y'all. This one isn't about me. I was just involved in it. I already got the uh, the okay to tell the story time. I got a, a long story time I want to tell y'all, but I don't want to take up that much of the video. So let's get into this one, though. So my uh, And this one popped up in my mind because I seen the skit about uh, by this dude named Lampo on Instagram about him canceling his sister because she keep getting him beat up by her boyfriend. So we chilling. Um, we chilling. And, and, and I'm telling y'all this from my homeboy perspective. So he said he had the crib, right? He chilling. He uh he playing the game. I don't remember what the nigga was playing. I wasn't in the video games back then. So his cu his his sister, she he bust the door open. Oh my god, Rick, Rick. I'm just I'm not gonna use his name, but Rick, Rick. So he throw his game down, baby. What's wrong, baby girl? Her eye, motherfucking big as hell, man. That bitch got a, her eye like this and shit. So he like, what's wrong with you? He like, uh, he hit me. He punched me in my eye. So my boy said, when he she told me that, bro, I immediately was like, oh my God. Because he's like, bro, this is like the third time, third, fourth time this nigga didn't hit her. She come get us. We go over there. We pull guns on each other. And then uh, we pull her out the house, and then she ended up going back. So he was like, this time, he was like, I'm not going. He told her, I'm not going over there because I go over there and save you, and then you go back to him. He was like, I'm done with that, man. If you want to be with him, then be with him. And she was like, you don't have to go with there, uh, go with him. He outside. And he and he, and he like, well, why the fuck is he outside? Because I told him I was coming to get you. And he followed me. I'm like, oh, shit. So, long story short, my homeboy go out there. They they just got to just fade it out. He get, he whooped my homeboy ass. I'm talking about punished him. So, this nigga then inherited her role. He he comes banging on my goddamn dough. Boom, 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 boom. Bro, Jay, Jay. So, I come open the door. I'm like, bro, what the hell wrong with you? Man, bro. I just got into it with my sister boyfriend, bro. I'm talking about he whooped dog ass up out of his shirt, man. Like, I don't know how the hell your shirt get ripped under here. You know how much force a nigga got to grab you to rip this part of your shirt? And if he got you by this part of your shirt, it's not a good fight. He ragdolled your ass and then tore your shirt open. So I'm like, God damn. Now this nigga, I, he got a matchy one on this side. This nigga shit like this. So, so the first thing I do is I laugh. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. The nigga, I like this. He's like, no, nah, bro. This ain't no shit to laugh on, bro. He keep hitting on my sister. I'm like, all right, what you want to do then? Hey, we going to go over there and jump his ass. No, we're not. Because y'all already know my rule. I don't jump niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a jumper. In, in, in order for me to engage in some jumping, some wild shit have to go on. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm like, nah, we not finna jump them because when you jump, niggas, they come back shooting. So I said, if you ain't trying to kill, dog, you bet not jump them. I said, come on, bro. Let's go over there, man. Uh, Corey, I'm like, nah, look, when we get over there, you gonna have, we, I can fade the nigga. And, you, like, you can fade him, but we not finna jump. He said, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, I'm not, we not finna jump him. We can go over there, you can fight him, and then I can fight him. He wanted no parts of the rematch with this man. He was like, nah, 
I ain't gonna fight the nigga again, bro. <laughs> and then he said, like, it was the most clear thought out thing you would you would never think a nigga would finna say who who like trying to defend his sister hour. I, I mean honor. He said, bro, if he closed this bitch up, how I'm gonna see. <laughs> <coughs> Duh, cause this this I already done for. He said if he closed this one up, I'm a see. I laughed a little bit again. I said, so what you wanna do? He's like, fuck it, man. She gonna go back with the nigga anyway. Then it probably already went back home. So the nigga just stayed at my crib for like a day or two until his shit healed up. And then the nigga went on home, man. And he and after that, bro. He told his sister, hey, no more, man. If that nigga whoop you, you just better pop him because I ain't getting into it no more. And I understood it, bro. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga close your eye up, you start thinking about life, bro. Like, he he, he probably could close your goddamn life up if he want to. So if you ain't trying to pop him, don't go over there and fight him. Enjoy the video, man. What's happening, doggy bone? We back, man. Just got to let y'all know real quick. Henry the GOAT. He the GOAT of Madden, bro. He the greatest Madden player of all the times. Uh, who y'all? Who y'all? I, I feel like you can't go nowhere but uh, big, hungry. Now, he, like, I was a little nervous when I seen the nigga in a black beater. On, and I'm like, oh, shit, bro. Who, who let you borrow that? Because cause that's not a, a beater that niggas just casually wear about. But, you know what I'm saying? Dog, definitely the GOAT of Madden. For real, for real. Uh, I got another banger for y'all boys, man. Uh, a banger and an infuriator at the same time, bro. Like I said, we getting into a crazy part of the Madai where niggas is running some crazy stuff and this game is no different. I said I was sick of Dolaire and I went a dollar and tight and they've been giving me some different people, some different kind of content. Hell games nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? And this is no different, bro. We going against YSK It's Jelly. I bet you this nigga a SoundCloud rapper. Gots to be. Gots to be. And uh, the title is no cap, bro. This nigga ran read option out of every formation you can run a read option out of. Now... Uh, after and once we get on his uh his side of the ball when he gets on offense, I kind of just go over it. But yeah, he was running that with a lot of I don't even know what this. The game just started. Why is this nigga activated as we hit the brand new Tim Brown with one AP slotomatic slotomatic? Why is he activated? He just got dotted, bro. But yeah, well, uh, one AP slotomatic is probably it's way better than shorty and elite. It activates on any route as we uh, go ahead and hit Tim Brown right there. Any shortcut route, post, in routes, out routes, corner routes, zig routes. That shit activates as long as he is in the slot position. And for you who don't know, when you in the uh, empty bunch, everybody right here, these four raw receivers are all considered slot receivers. So anybody in these slots with slotomatic will automatically uh, activate as I get dirty on dog in them seams. Get real seamy-licious out here, man. And we score a uh, touchdown. That's why That's why I think I'm just going to try to go every uh, wide receiver who gets a um, slot matic for 1 AP or a tight end. I need to find one that gets one for 1 AP. I'm going to be picking them, up on, picking them up on the squadron. And this gonna make the, uh, it's going to make the offense real good-elicious out here, man. So coming out, all right, so he comes out and spreads. Same shit I played yesterday. Hits me with the read option. He has the Cunningham and the Eagles theme team, so that Cunningham is 97 speed. So is that Briar. And that Briar is a animal, boy. Briars is the best running back in the game. So I switch my focus to, uh, to uh, play the quarterback. Play the quarterback, I'll play the run. You know what I'm saying? As uh, he... he Throws a nice little dot right there. The goal is just to get this nigga to pass the ball. So he comes out in tight. Of course he does. Runs a read option out of tight. I don't know if this nigga hit Google and said every formation with tight, enter. And then it gave him whatever playbook he was in. But on my mama, 
he ran read option out of everything, bro. Not 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 an inside zone, not a halfback base, nothing but read option, bro. He was a read option demon who had who had good defense. I mean, granted it was a uh, press man, you know what I'm saying. But W said something, you know what I'm saying, that he was like, yo. Y'all may not like it, but it's the meta, so I'm going to run it. That's where he breaks the tackle right there and trips and fall for five yards. I hate this game sometimes, bro. Who the hell who the hell tripping and falling like that, man? Like, honestly, bro. That jump was so stupid, man. But, yeah, as y'all can see, bro, now he goes empty uh, Trey Stack. Right here, I knew it was a, a QB run. I'm going to put my vert hook because I always tell y'all you always need a vert hook on the stack side. Uh, right there, he just waited for a second, you know what I'm saying, to see which hole he was going to hit. And dog ass was gone through that joint. So we give up a touchdown on all runs, bro. All design QB runs. Uh, and we just, we, we eyeing up the QB and just forcing him to hand it off to the running back. And he's finding lanes, bro. Like, he getting dirty. Like, his whole team is set up. For a QB run. So right here, he just playing a uh, straight press man across the board. And right here, we hit his ass with his own look. look, 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 look. What the fuck was that? I thought, I, I, in my mind, it was like taste of your own medicine. But I didn't, I just did something. I really didn't think it through. And I apologize. Right here, we hit him with the QB draw again. Get dirty on him. Get out of bounds because I don't want Tua to take hits, even though I'm on conservative. I just want to keep his stamina up. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want him to run out of that stamina. It ain't no, he, the boy don't got unlimited stamina. So I wants to keep it up. Uh, we had the MCS watch party where we watch Henry win another, win another ship. I'll be live on Twitch again this weekend. Actually, you know what I'm saying? For some, for, for, for some good content. You feel me? So right here again, um... He asked, I didn't even notice he had Hicks out there with the liquor on there. And he probably 93, 94 speed. You know what I'm saying? Linebackers with lurker who getting high up there in speed. You actually can use them. You know what I'm saying? And they'll do well. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how tall that Hicks is, but if he got the lurker, like well, most of these uh, good linebackers coming out do because they kind of want to make it so you can put linebackers on the field and just don't feel hella helpless. Right here again, we hit him with the uh, QB draw again. You a hoe, Night Train, for pushing him in his back like that. You know my boy that had past traumatic experiences. So right here, we just going to go ahead and try to dot dog up. I've been uh, loving this Tim Brown. He he cooks, man, coverage with that slot of Maddox. Uh, right, but don't, don't, list, don't, look, don't look at that because his ass got bagged. Don't look at that. Oh, nigga will get bad when I say something, man. So right here, I'm like, all right, cool. I already know it's press man again. I always tell y'all that little diamond right there, man. Always be revealing the man defense to um. But I just make a terrible read, man. I go here to the C route because the C route has been good to me for so long, bro. Soon as I seen his user drop, I knew I should like I I kind of thought I could throw him open on the C route. I should have been patient and then hit the post route to Tim Brown. But as soon as he dropped, I knew Tim was going to cook him on that post, and he did. As right here, he goes back to the, um, I ain't going to cry. He goes right back to the read option, bro. His line, his whole team was built for read option, bro. He had wild O-line chemistry. To run the rock, nigga had na freak nasty, uh, get dirty streaks. You know what I'm saying? He had uh, push a nigga down, elite. Like he had everything, bro, to run the ball all game. And it was so goddamn annoying, bro. Like read, I like look. Even he even had, went the pistol read option on my mama. So right here he goes. I know he's probably about to go to some type of. Short check down, boom, as he does hit that Ertz, but he doesn't pick up the first down. I know where he's going because he tried to do it last time. He knows that, so I'm like, he probably is going to pass 
because he knows that I know that he knows that I know. But nope, nigga did it again and almost got it, bro. Almost broke 19 tackles. So right here, I'm like, I'm, I'm, fin I'm finna send the heat on dog ass. And we send Romanowski off the edge and we get to stop. That was a huge stop because I have done a terrible job of stopping this damn read option out of every playbook in the game. So it is really torturing me. You know what I'm saying? Because he just, hey, here, here, take it. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, get the ball. <laughs> get off me, nigga. Spin mode. And going crazy with the 97 speed. Right here, I'm just throwing it up to Tim Brown. He got 97 speed. I'm throwing it up to him, bro. And, I'm, and if I could break a tackle, I'm going to the crib. That was literally my way of thinking right here. So we hike that ball. Throw that boy up. He got the step, but we just couldn't break that tackle. Uh, big play slay, I want to say, is 94 speed. 90, yeah, 94 on that thing, team. So I knew we had the, the, the ability. Again, I want to get him to throw the ball, bro. If I throw the ball, I know I can get the turnover. I can I can get real lurk nasty on dog because he stank like a mug with these runs. So I know he ran this play before. What I'm waiting for I to do is I know this is like a short um, out route, so I know I'll get the match defense here. He'll match that. Um, he is usually, I think last time, he was on a post or a corner. So I put him in the seam flat to take dog if he does run a corner. If he runs a streak route, he'll just pick him up for a short amount of time before bailing down. So my responsibility is all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get here. And if I see him coming out on the angle route out of that doubles play, I'll bait back. But that's what I'm thinking in my mind when I'm setting up defense. So right there, we do that. And it's kind of exactly how I said it was going to play out. If you notice... Watch how my linebacker plays this uh, corner route. He plays it beautifully. As you can see, he's running. Actually, it was an out route. He's running that out route for him. That's the new Devontae Adams. That is Derrick Johnson, man. He runs it for him and, and completely took him out. He was taken out with match. We're there. We're there. Only place he had to go was there, and we were just there to bait it. Pick it off with my boy Bo Jackson on A's. And now that stop that he got earlier in the uh, game means absolutely nothing. I just got to punch it in and get seven. And then just get back to playing some defense, man, for real. Let me drink some of my water with Lemmy on in it. Ah, delicioso. So, again, right here, QB draw. <laughs> QB draw, bro. I missed it that play so much. And they got a new Steve Young dropping tomorrow. So, I'm going to see if Steve Young gets all three uh, ability. I know he gets hot route and fearless for two. I'm a, Hopefully, he has a third bucket that he can get a set feet lead in. Hopefully, it's only like three AP. I doubt it will be, but if it is, I might get that Steve Young. Because Steve Young was a nice one I had him. I loved him at quarterback. He's a Gen 3 quarterback also. Lefty just like Tua. So, yeah. Uh, coming right back out again, though. Uh, I just I was struggling getting my shit out, man. For real. Right there, we try to go inside. We get the knockout. If I could have created a bit more separation, then I would have been good. But trying to get separation, like, on a Y catch from the... Uh, I, from a streak is actually a little tough, bro. It's a lot easier on crossers and corners than it is on any of those other routes. But that don't stop me. Uh, right here, I'm going to look for these flats, bro. I see the way he's lined up. 1-1. One, one. I knew he was cross-manned on him. I waited, I waited to see, and he ended up getting bumped, which allowed me to throw that route, and we ended up picking it up. Right here, we go to single back deuce close, and we're just going to run this ball and try to get it in. That's one thing I do like about being back in empty gun is we can run the ball. Well, we, we, we don't want to run it like that. But a nigga can run it. A nigga can run it. Coming right back out, I'm, I'm, I am I'm already know where I'm looking. <laughs> you feel me? I know, man. If, if that user drop low, Timmy Brown going to get nasty on him, man. For real. 
I'm hoping he, uh, we actually took a uh, nasty delay of game. I actually took it to give myself a little bit more space to throw that post route. Honest to God, I could have hiked that ball if I wanted to. But second and goal from the 12 and the 17 ain't really a, ain't no difference in it. You know what I'm saying? I just want more space to be able to dot up. And I'm going to try to pull his user probably here on this corner route. And then if not, bait down here on the drag, which he does. And then I just hit it right behind him on the post route. But ain't nobody covering that slot of Matic Tim Brown 97 speed, man. Yeah, head, shoulder. Okay, nigga. All right, cut it off. I wanted to sing with it, but it's cool. Excuse me. We end up kicking three. And we taking a nice lead. That stream hurted me a lot. So Y'all know I got this pinch nerve right here. And I ain't supposed to be streaming, so I actually got my leg propped up. <laughs> my shit hurting, bruh. Oh, they keep telling me I need to sit still, but I can't, man. I got to get to the pepperoni and cheese, my boy. So I, it's a new chair that uh, I can get that has, like, it has this thing underneath that folds out. And it'll help me prop my leg up when I'm working. You know what I'm saying? Cause, and then they tell me I'm supposed to be sitting still. And all that, but I feel better. Like when I'm on my elliptic, getting my miles in, I feel better on the bike with the pinch nerve. You know what I'm saying? When I'm active, it don't feel as as work bad as it does when I sit still. When I sit in this chair, which I understand why. But coming back out, you know what I'm saying? Again, read option demon. Ooh, hand him off the ball. Let him go to work. You know what I'm saying? I've never played anybody like him ever, ever. I have never played anybody. Like, this is my first time ever. Ooh, and the idea for my thumbnail just popped up in my head. Hell yeah. That's going to be fire. But I've never played anybody like this who just spammed read option as the Devontae Smith just died. Never, bro. Y'all let me know if you have. I've played people who ran pistol. You know what I'm saying? And they ran like a triple option type joint. But I've never played anybody who just only ran read option. And I ain't going to lie. He was hell, bro. Like, I don't know if he, if, if his mama, I mean, if his daddy, well, great, great, grand, granddaddy, whoever invented read option. And they didn't pass this shit down from generation to generation. And they just, as a family, decided this all we do and we going to go zerk. So what I did is I stopped uh, bringing everybody in the box with this uh, with his uh, read option. I still blitzed them, but I didn't bring them in the box because I felt like they can get a nice running start into this gap. Again, this is his red zone offense. I am going to hook curl him because a lot of people like that quick throw out the backfield. I keep telling y'all, always hook curl the stack side. He's blitzing. He's manning up. I'm flattened here. And I think I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and uh, vert hook him. Got by hook curling. And then we play really good defense, bro. That should have been a pick because I did flat zone him. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you can't be too upset about it. Again, we're going to go to similar uh, defense. We're going to man up that slot guy. And he tried to throw a, a little, little like makeshift screen. But we, we all on that. We all on that musty ass little play. Again, he's going to go there. I am going to, I didn't put a hook curl, but I ended up running up there. And uh, he tried to free form it, which was terribly stupid. Uh, he definitely got cheated a little bit, but you don't free form right there. You just hobble all that and let dog cascade up into the heavens and grab it. I don't have pick artists on uh, Teddy Hen, so Teddy wasn't going to animate up underneath that route. So right here, we got the ball. Now, it's a 14-7 game. It's been a hella defensive game, for real, for real. It's been hella defensive. So instead of uh, motioning over him, I'm just going to motion over Wilder because he'll do a better job blocking right there. Uh, see, when you motion over that wide receiver, CD just going to get beat down. They're going to beat this nigga up and move him all up out the way. So it's really no point of doing so. You feed me. So, coming back out, man, my job, try to pick up a first down. Boom, we go to the, uh, what's that, the C route. Click on, get in front, Moss. Um, I ain't going to lie, he did a great job of playing the C route this game. Like a really, really good job of playing that C route. C route, is it gets dirty, 
But it ain't it ain't been as cold like you know what I'm saying as it was to start the year. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't been as great, and and it makes me very very sad. Right there, the weakest shit ever, Chad. Look at this. Watch this. Watch how he just squeezes. Like 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 what sense does that make? That's what pisses everybody off about the game this year, bro. It's how stupid the old line is, bro. Like the old line is slow in the mind, bro. And it makes you so paranoid as a Madden player because you have no clue if your line is going to do what you tell them to do. Do what they uh, the abilities tell them to do. You have no clue. So now it puts me in the second and 24. I'm scared as hell. Because once that line get to shedding like crazy, you don't know what the hell finna happen, man. He walked through two people, man. And he got all day on him. That's actually, that's the LTD from Zero Chill. I forgot his name. But yeah, when, when you don't know if that line gonna hold up, bro, it puts so much fear in your heart. Right here again, boom, hit him on that backside with that nasty little uh, post route. We get it to a third and one. I'm paranoid, scared for my life, especially when I see them bunched in. I'm like, he can just blitz everybody and somebody will just walk straight through my line. You know what I'm saying? Somebody will. Especially with him mugging the gap right here. That made me super nervous. But I, I'm like, it is what it is. The nigga walked through the line. He walked through the line, bro. I ain't finna trip. We run the C route. The C route gets bumped. I make a mess up. That's not a Tua uh, mess up. That is my mess up. I was so worried about the old line play that I ended up dropping back premeditated in my mind, dropping back way farther than I needed to. Had I just that, uh, stood up strong in the pocket and not dropped back that far, that's a dot for a touchdown and the game is over. So I'm like, all right, let's just do that again, bro. But this time, let's not drop back dumb far in the pocket. I don't like how bunched up everything is in here. And I think I'm going to end up calling the timeout. I should have kept him on this out route. But then this nigga just gets activated out of nowhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's, let's go back before this. Look, look. Nobody is activated, right? Nobody's activated. So when I call this timeout, where does this nigga, what did he do? What did he drink on the sideline? What drugs did he take? Where this nigga activates, bro. I was so confused because I'm like, I was finna cook dog on that little out route. So now he finna bag up. He blitzes off the edge. I just throw that shit up and he gets a stop, bro. All because, like, uh, I want to say he had universal coverage. So that makes him, like, the king of all defenses, all coverages. You know what I'm saying? So we get bad, we got to punt the ball, but that had me tight because I didn't understand why the hell he activated. Like, what did he do? You know what I'm saying? So right here again, we're not going to mug the gap, but we are going to blitz. You know what I'm saying? We play good defense. He tries to throw it up. Uh, I don't know how Sherm got beat. I do know. Uh, our month was faster than him. I wasn't even in press position. But I was, I'm like, all right, if he did complete that pass, and it wasn't an overthrow. I was like, all right, Sherm probably would have just grabbed the nigga up. You know what I'm saying? But the one thing, um, I forgot what I was about to say. Whatever. I shouldn't have mugged right here, but I knew he wasn't about to throw the ball. So we play a uh, really good deep. Rome, hey, Bill Romanowski been good, man. Romanowski been biting people, pinching niggas. Like, he been good for me, man. That's the same play he threw a pick on earlier. So I kind of knew it was coming. Uh, so the game is on the line right here. I know he's not about to run no QB draw with one time out. So I put that vert hook because I know what's coming. And he throws right at the vert hook, bro. They throw right at the vert hook every time, man. Every stanky, musty time. They throw right at the vert hook. Dog ends up quitting out, man. And, uh, yeah, GG to him, bro, because he gave me a headache with all that read option. Like, I don't know what dog problem was, but my thumbnail tomorrow finna be fine because I didn't thought of something, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll get it y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.